I've been doing dropshipping for over five years now with dozens of failed stores, failed products, and wasted money. So in this video, I'll be showing my top mistakes so hopefully you can avoid them and find success quicker with dropshipping. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, the first mistake that you want to avoid is just poor web design or poor landing pages because let's say you found a nice product you click on a link you go to the web page and it's a poor web design it looks like your credit card details are going to get scammed you're probably not going to buy the product right that's why you need to make sure you have a high quality converting landing page and let me show you how i structure mine the first thing i do usually is have a branded fill and branded name so like this accustone right here so of course it matches up with the name because it's you stepping on stones and everything and next i have always put in tm trademark to have a you know a trademark filling and then next i just put in a few words explaining the product the cobblestone foot relief so this product basically you know you just step on it and it relieves your foot and targets the pressure point so the accustone tm the cobblestone foot relief that's all i do for that and then next up i have a couple trust badges free track shipping 30 day money back guarantee and easy return so you know they are looking at this and they like okay i know i'm going to have free track shipping i can return this product i want and it's going to be easy to do so so now they will have more trust in a product and next i you know i have my buy it now button but i always have it the same color as my banner that i have across my page so you know i can match colors and that next i have a couple sentences you know describing the product and then when I you scroll down a little more I have a couple photos of the product so I can just break up the text and then now I have a few benefits I usually have three to five benefits that works the best put in a check mark and then some benefits and then usually I have like some product reviews down below using Luke's but on this store I don't have that but that's always usually a good one to have that and the upsell so upsell and Luke's reviews is something that is amazing that you can use too but when it comes to landing pages that's pretty much all I have it's not that simple you just want to take an extra day day or two to you know really think up some different key benefits and you know that you will want to have for your product and make sure you get some nice photos you can get nice photos from like amazon amazon is a good one you can because a lot of drop shipping products are can be found on amazon you can use those pictures on your store so you can have you know high quality store designs or of course you just can get your photos from aliexpress from your supplier if they have high quality photos those usually work great too so either or works fine but just make sure you're taking the time and effort to create high quality landing pages so you can have a higher conversion rate okay the second mistake that you want to avoid is poor product research because if you don't do any product research you you basically fail before you even started because if you don't validate the product you have no idea if it's go if it's going viral or doing going to do good or anything so you just need to make sure you do some product research and let me show you how the first feature that i like to use slash app is going to be big spy big spy is a w tool it don't cost that much and they even have a lot of information on a free plan as well and as you can see they have all the big platform as well like facebook instagram youtube TikTok twitter and even messenger on here so there's a lot of information on here so all you need to do once you sign up is come over to this ad spy and once you come over to ad spy you need to scroll down it's going to have ad spy and ad ideas so you can click on either or so i'm gonna click on ad spy and as you can see they have a lot of information even on a free plan you can choose what network network you want to go with you can choose even your e-commerce platform which you're probably going to use shopify your country region your objective what type of engagement that you want and even when the ad was posted so all you need to do is just come over here filter it however you want to scroll through all these all the products and all the ads and see what you would like and save them and for this make sure i would say that, that it has at least 50,000 impressions this is impressions right here so either 1,000 likes or 50k impressions if you want to go with a product on here because if it is you know like let's say this one right here 51 popularity 4.2k impressions it's it's not doing that well you know so you're not really validating the product you're just picking a random product so make sure you know it's at least trending a little bit okay and the second tool that i like to use for product research is going to be facebook ad library it's a completely free tool all you need to do is come over to facebook ad library.com and for it you need to just select your country i've got united states and then all ads and then right here search by keyword advertiser what i usually like to type in is product 
finds this i feel like this is one of the best keywords when it comes to drop shipping products and as you can see it's different drop shipping products right here like this lamp and this right here they're fixing your core and then it, what it does it shows you different ads and you can even click on it so you can go to the competitor and see their website and like this right here i'm pretty sure you can make a better website than this is so this is why i love using facebook ad library it gives you so much information on competitors you can even you know do the same product as the competitor and make it way better because when it comes to product research that's the main goal really all you need to really do is find a product that's already working see if you know they have a poor ad or poor web design or a landing page and just make it better that's basically what you know the drop shipping model is just finding a product and just making it better when you see it's already working that's pretty much it okay and the last product tool that i like to use when it comes to product research is going to be tiktok tiktok is a w way another free way that you can find winning products that's already working so all you need to come do is come over to the tiktok the search bar of course you can do this on your phone and then just search in tiktok made me buy it so tiktok made me buy it is one of the best ones that you can use and as you can see all of these drop shipping products it has you know 11 million views 600 over 600,000 views for over 400,000 views so as you can see this is a great way to validate a product because you can see it's already working like this product right here it got 11 million views so if you just do like one percent of 11 million bought that product that's at least 50,000 sales that's a lot of sales and that's a lot of money but of course every product is going to get 11 million views but it's a great validation to know that this product right here will be a good one to sell for you so then now you can sell it in your store okay the third mistake that you want to avoid is no marketing plan because i don't care how good your web design is or how good the product you picked was it does not matter if you don't have a marketing plan because who's going to buy your product if you're not marketing it and i'm gonna be honest if you unless you're like been doing dropshipping for some years and you know all about profit margins and how to market the product with zero to no money it's not going to work out for you if you're trying to just you know market it with like 20 bucks or 50 bucks or nothing it's extremely hard you need a budget when it comes to marketing in most cases so i would say bare minimum you need 300 to 500 dollars starting out now that's bare minimum like a thousand dollars would be that sweet spot but you need to make sure you have a decent budget when it comes to marketing for drop shipping because let's i know there's a lot of videos that say they started with like zero dollars but let's be honest this is a business model and in business especially like this one like drop shipping you need you need some money to start up with you know it's going to be extremely hard if you don't so so you just need to know which platform you're going to be marketing on and the first one and one of my favorites is going to be one of the most popular and is, that is facebook facebook just has the best return they have the most solid foundation when it comes to marketing on any platform versus like you know tiktok or pinterest anything because you know they're the biggest social media platform and on top of this they just have launched a lot of businesses a lot of businesses have been successful for facebook marketing so you just need to make sure you have a solid plan when it comes to marketing like this is really the most important part and i have a whole video with that describes facebook ads and how to start with it if you want to start with the facebook ads it does take time and you're probably going to blow a little bit of money when you're using facebook at facebook ads until you get good with it but it's definitely worth it in the end and you know understanding your return on ad spend and your cost per click and your cost per 1000 ad impressions and all these different terms once you understand them you can really get the most bang for your buck but it does you know take some money that you don't learn this unfortunately okay and the second way that you can market is by using tiktok tiktok is becoming a better place to market on it isn't as good as facebook in my opinion but it is definitely a good platform to market on and you can go two different routes when it comes to tiktok the first way is you can buy your product and just try to go for organic make like one to three videos a day it's going to be the freeway you're probably it's probably going to take some time to build up an account before you can start you know getting some sales unless you know you have a product uh, or a video that goes viral then you know of course that'd be amazing and the second way is you know just spending your money to you know market it with paid traffic but what i would do is i would first start with organic and let's say my product gets a hundred thousand views or a million views or something like that i would take that video and then use it
it as my paid advertisement video because I because thanks to organic I know people like that video because of how many views it got so I will first start off with organic and then transition to paid if I'm using TikTok and another platform you can market on is going to be Pinterest Pinterest is one of my favorites as well because of how much traffic you can get plus Pinterest is just not you know a social media platform it's a search engine for pictures so if you make amazing pins or you know have good videos on here you can definitely be getting traffic to your web store for months like after you create a pin you know on like TikTok, you got like you know two three maybe even five days but on pinterest you can be getting traffic for four five six months after you created that pin if it goes viral so that's why I like Pinterest and for me, so for this account right here, I got over 50,000 monthly views and I've been getting a few sales because right here, if you click on this link right here, it takes you to my store and this is the product I'm selling for all my stores, just, you know, a skillet for, and it's a cooking page. So, you know, it matches up because it matches up great. So when it comes to marketing on Pinterest, you want to probably have a niche store and so you can have all your products in the same niche because you don't want to be having a cooking page on Pinterest, but in all your products on your, you know, your drop shipping stores, tech products that you won't match up and people won't be buying anything off your store so make sure it's just in the same niche if you're marketing on pinterest okay and the fourth and last mistake that really tripped me up when i first started is choosing the wrong store model what this means is it's, it's different store models when it comes to drop shipping you got the, your general store you got your niche store and you got your one product store what i started with was a one product store and it really tripped me up this is one you don't want to pick when you're a beginner because you it's basically having one shot versus you know with it like a niche store you have a few products or a general store you have a lot of products you can market on so if you just create a one product store you only have one shot with that product so let me show you an example of each store type okay this store right here will be an example of a one product store as you can see it's just blenders as you can when we're scrolling through you see a blender another blender 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 it's just all about blenders for this so this is a, what a one product store would be let's say you picked one product like this blender or you pick like a vacuum or just one product in general and you're marketing it on your store and that's the only product you have it's going to be 10 times harder for you to build success because let's say you your product doesn't do good but your whole store is just one product so that's just a failed store at that point you know because you only had that one product on there and you designed it specifically for that product and it failed so now you have to move on to the next store and as a beginner this is going to happen a lot because you know your first second or even fifth or tenth product not be might not be a winner or probably not going to be when you're a complete beginner so this is why i would say if you're a complete beginner with drop shipping don't go for a wrong product store okay the next store type is going to be a general store this right here would be an example of a general store as you can see they got faucets hand dryers pallet jacks platform for trucks shrink wrap touchless dispensers just a whole bunch of random products right here so it's not really in a specific niche they got different niches on here though that you can click on like education construction retail and different things but you know they're all in different niches so this will be a general store because they don't fit under one niche which is better than a one product store when it comes for beginners but the one i like to use and still use mainly will be a niche store right here is, is this store is called flight and what they have is just cool lamps and like plants that floats and meditates so as you can see this is a plant right here that meditates this is a you know a light bulb that meditates another light bulb a pyramid that meditate that levitates so as you can see the niche that they're in is like lamps but they have different types of lamps so let's say this product right here or this one right here just didn't do good this pyramid right here was a complete flop it doesn't really matter because they have other products on a store they're not a one product store so you know now they can put all their focus and attention into another product that's why i like to have a niche store because you can have more than you know one product you have 10 15 or 20 different products that has to be in the same niche though you want to be selling tech and coffee products on the same website because you know that's not in the same niche so that's why i like to go in a niche store so make sure you pick your store based on your experience okay and that right there is the top mistakes i've made in my drop shipping journey all these mistakes you just want to completely avoid because all of them is could you know make it or break it for you especially not having a marketing plan and you know just choosing a one product store and this this one really messed me up because i was like oh my gosh drop shipping is hard because you know i was just my store was just this one product and that was it and i would fail so y'all just want to make sure you had the right expectation when it comes to drop shipping too i want to leave you on because a lot of people say oh you can make you know a lot of money uh the next 
next week after you just started which is hard because you have to have a lot of skills when it comes to drop shipping just so just take your time and just come come in with the right expectations and i'm sure you'll do well with drop shipping so i hope this video was helpful for you and you avoid the mistakes i've made and good luck in your drop shipping journey until next time